No, but when they're at that young age, like, they do no harm, so how can you possibly think there's evil in them? There's evil in your head. Your edges are evil. <laughs> you need to... <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. Today we're gonna be checking out the worst babysitters of all time. So I don't know if y'all had a babysitter when y'all were younger or whatnot, but I have had pretty much bad babysitters my whole life. And this video is from top 10, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Check it out after this video. So like I was saying, there gonna be some good babysitters and then some bad babysitters. And we all, we personally, I don't want a babysitter. I'm too grown to have somebody else looking after me that isn't my parent. And babysitters demand way too much respect, like who are you? You? Who are you? I don't know you. You don't know nobody. And if you don't do so yet, make sure you hit me with that follow on you. Now, I actually do daily streams. I call you guys live on the air. So if you ever want a full call from me, make sure you follow me at Prince of Hawkum. Link in the description below. Also, can you drop a like on this video? Drop a like for your boy. Drop a thumbs up for your boy. Also, make sure you subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you never miss one of my mwah, beautiful, perfect videos. And go ahead and comment, have you ever had a bad babysitter? I actually had a babysitter that, no lie, she actually locked us out of the house in the backyard because she didn't want to put up with us. And we basically had to wait until the next day in the morning for my parents to open the door. And like, yeah, she, she got fired. <laughs> but enough of me talking. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the 10 worst babysitters of all time. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Coming in at number 10, we have Marquita Birch. We're kicking this Marquita list off Birch. with one terrible babysitter. In 2012, when William Cunningham was one years old, his mother was busy, so got Marquita Birch to babysit. He was being looked after by her for a few weeks. What did she do? But on the first Friday of Marquita's babysitting, William went missing. <gasps> At first, Marquita said he no! was when they were in the park. Everyone began looking while police quizzed Marquita about her story, which had a few inconsistencies. After a while, she confessed she the kidnapped? one year old was no longer alive. William was found stuffed inside a closet inside Marquita's cousin's house. She said she'd no! seen the baby lying at the bottom of the stairs unresponsive but alive. She then panicked and instead of calling 911, put him in a trash bag and hid him. What? She was sentenced to 19 years for what she did, but she never explained the entire truth. And to this day, police are still scratching their heads over Marquita Birch. Why would you do that to a one-year-old kid? Seriously, Marquita Birch? That's what's crazy to me. People become babysitters and they don't like kids. How are you going to be a babysitter if you don't like kids? That's part of the job description. That's like being a kindergarten teacher and not liking kids. You're essentially just going to piss yourself off going to work every single day. Man, RIP to a real nigga. The one-year-old man? Uh, it's too soon, man. It's too soon. She just stuffed him in a bag. Oh, golly. You, ugh, I need stuff you in a bag. Next up is William Howard Lale. I already know she William did something Howard bad. William Howard Lale's girlfriend left her two children with him to babysit. Early on in the night, a neighbor saw him run out of the house with one of the kids called Jaden's body. <gasps> he then ran back inside and moved Jaden's sister Kylie to another neighbor's house. Paramedics rushed to the scene and found scald marks on their arms, legs, and heads. No. It was too late to save Jaden, but Kylie was okay after treatment. And William was sentenced to lie for what he did to both Jaden and Kylie. Oh my gosh. Why are these babysitters just going murderous? Like, are they crying that much? Does it annoy you that much? Newsflash, don't become a babysitter. It's that easy. It's that simple. Trust me. If you don't want to deal with kids, don't go on a job field that basically thrives in kids. Next up is Elisabetta Plakowska. In 2012, this oh, woman was looking girl. after her friend's five-year-old daughter named Olivia. And at the same time, she was also taking care of her own seven-year-old boy named Justin. A little while into the night, she struck Justin 50 times with a knife, taking 50? his life. After that, she struck Olivia with it a hundred times, also taking her life. She claimed to police at first that an intruder broke in and she was totally innocent, but then admitted she thought they were possessed by a devil. A wow. while after that, she said she was She's tired crazy. of the evils of modern society, but whatever the She's truth insane. was, this is one terrible babysitter. Dog, she stopped. <sighs> Dog, she stabbed to do a kid 50 times and the baby girl 100 times. And she said she was tired of the evil of society. What do those kids have to do with anything about society? Kids are the most pure, loving, joyful things ever until, like, you know, they grow older. <laughs> no, but when they're at that young age, like, they do no harm. So how can you possibly think there's evil in them? There's evil in your head. Your edges are evil. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> no, this is not a laughing matter. Seriously, she, she, she embodied two kids, guys. And she's a babysitter. Like, seriously, you need to get something else on your resume because having a babysitter and then having a criminal record <laughs> doesn't go together. Next up is Gabriela Gonzalez. What's that, this Gabby? This 25-year-old was taken to the U.S. illegally and soon fell in with a bad crowd. But after seven years, she managed to move in as a housemaid with a family in Virginia. Okay. In 2011, the woman up. she worked for went to Maryland on business, so Gabriela was put in charge of babysitting. The woman's two-year-old daughter named Kyrie enjoyed being babysat by Gabriela. Kyrie Irving? <laughs> but a few days into the babysitting job, Kyrie 
Kairi developed a bad rash and wouldn't stop crying. That was when Gabriella shook the baby and hit her head on a bathtub. No! Kairi at age two, and oh, as a result God. of this, Gabriella was sentenced to 20 years behind bars. And Gabriella actually has her own son she's now banned from seeing ever again. Good! Don't let her see her son before she shake him. Bro, oh my gosh. How are you going to shake a baby? Don't shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. You need to go to the NBA if you're trying to shake people. <laughs> Next up is Agnes Wong. In 2007, this woman was hired to look after 16-month-old Hugo Wayne. But during the babysitting, he was taken to a children's hospital by Wong. Why? Well, it was found that Hugo had been swung by his ankles, burned, and bitten. <gasps> Wong said she only gave out punishment sometimes. And she claims he got the burn marks from, from an iron. But it gets crazier. Hugo passed away a few days later from injuries. No. Wong was initially sentenced to life, but this was later reduced to two years. Think that's- Two? Bad? Well, afterwards, she was paid $7,000 to move back to Malaysia. Meaning that Wong actually made money from her terrible crime. Wow. Wow. She got paid at the end of the day. She 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 almost she almost had life in prison and then they shortened it down to two years. Then they got paid. She got paid. She got seven rats. Oh my Leo, what is going on in today's world? She actually got paid to take out a kid. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. Yo, I don't get paid to do my homework. I don't get paid for the good things that I do in life. So why does she get paid for bodying a kid? It's not fair. The world's not fair. Next up is Michael Plumador. Alana Lemon and her two sisters mother and father weren't in one night. Their mother wasn't feeling well and their father worked nights, so they brought in Michael to babysit. It was fine at first, she got, but she got, then uh, Alana brains. went missing. <laughs> Michael said he assumed she went off for a walk, but she never came back. He she was missing her. until Christmas, and that's when the FBI Ooh. got involved. They soon found out Michael had hit her in the head and caused her to lose her life. Oh, he man. then froze her body in a freezer for unknown reasons. And for this bizarre, unexplained crime, Michael was given life in jail without parole. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Justice. Life without parole. You don't get no parole when you body a kid. And he had them looking until Christmas. Oh, uh, well, I guess finding her body was the... The Christmas present, oh man. Boy looking like Billy Ray Cyrus, if you don't get out here with that. <laughs> Next up is David McGreevy. This man's babysitting you look like the you messed up in the, the head. monster of Worcester. David had been homeless for a while, so he began staying with his old friend Clive and his family. David would cook meals and babysit in exchange for staying there. But after a night of heavy drinking, David returned to the house to watch the three kids while Clive and his wife went out for the night. But David soon became enraged and took the life of all three kids. Oh he God. Their bodies on display on a pointed fence for all the neighbors to see. He was arrested at 3 a.m. the next morning and initially what? denied any wrongdoing. A jury, however, soon found him guilty and he was sentenced to 40 years imprisonment. He was released when he hit Only 60 40? and begged the judge to keep his identity private. The judge agreed, but then changed his mind. And now, yeah. after David goes, his past haunts him. Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to get away with that kind of past. You kill three people and you think you can just get away with it? No, put that on the billboards, the front paper, internet, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere you can put it. Put it on there. And I hated the fact that he actually got out of jail. Like, he's actually free. Even though he's 60 now, he's been there for 40 years. Still, three kids? That should be life. Each person. Next up is Cole McClooney. This guy was just What's 15 when he was hired to look after a five-year-old named Demi. He was a family friend, and Demi's mom simply wanted to run some errands, including buying Carl a birthday card. Carl and Demi went to the park, but when they got back home, things went crazy. Carl what began happened? biting and hurting Demi, Ooh. and he even shaved Demi's head. Demi's mom came back to find Carl watching TV, and her daughter not alive. A psychologist said Carl went crazy after a bizarre home life. But despite this, Carl was sentenced to 20 years behind bars, Hell but yeah. may be released sooner. He went crazy, and the thing is, when she caught her dead baby. He was just watching TV like it was casual, like ain't nothing happened that day, ain't nothing interesting happened. What was on TV that caught your interest? Was the new episode of Game of Thrones on? <laughs> no, that's not what I think matter, but seriously, come on, put these people in for life. Not 20 years, not 40 years, they need life. Next up is Yoslin Ortega. What's this up, Yoslin? This year old woman was hired by Marina Crime to take care of her three children. Marina took one of her kids to a swimming lesson, but when she returned, she found the other two had been stabbed in the bathtub. Oh, Yoslin Oh then tried to do the same thing to herself while Marina called an ambulance for her kids. The ambulance arrived and surprisingly saved Yoslin, but couldn't save the kids. Oh, and man. And this means that Yoslin has to serve her time. She was sentenced to life in prison. Why would she take out kids and then take out herself? This is why I don't be understanding. If you're gonna kill yourself, kill yourself. Don't take anybody else with you. Kids are pure, you know? When I was a kid, I did nothing wrong. 
You know, so I don't understand why babysitters just be lashing out. Don't be a babysitter. Coming up next is Frederick Mitchell. In 2013, oh, you look like this 21-year-old from Cincinnati was babysitting the son of one of his housemates named Elliot, who was six. It's not known exactly what went down, but at some point in the day, Frederick threw Elliot into a wall headfirst, making oh, a giant. Oh gosh! Wall. Elliot was taken to hospital, but passed away days later. Frederick claims he suffers from blackouts and has no recollection of what happened. He says he's perfectly innocent, he's lying. but we're not so sure. He was charged with a million dollar bond, and he's now spending the rest of his life in yes. prison, despite his blackout claims. Mm -hmm. His mother actually testified saying he wasn't lying about the blackouts, and that he was innocent. He may suffer from blackouts, but one thing this man is not is innocent. How are you gonna suffer from blackouts and your blackouts cause you to chunk a baby at the wall? Come on now, nah, that's not blackouts, that's you just, just trying to come up with an excuse. And that hole was big, like that's the type of hole that somebody punches when they're really mad. And you do that with a baby's head, shame on you bro, uh-uh. You got life in a million dollar bond, uh, ain't no Rari for you, ain't no Lamborghini in your future, cause you gotta pay a million dollars. That was it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully that video wasn't too sad. You know, there are bad babysitters, but there are also good babysitters out there. Those are just the small few bad babysitters there are. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends. Yeah, yeah.